Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, okay? So this is right around the 16th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So this reading may not be for you. What do we have for our message today? Woo! The Ace of Cups. So this is a new start in love, things getting better. Uh, expression of love, a flood of emotion. This is the gateway to intuition as well. So this is... Uh, a flood of emotion. It is love. Something to do with love. A new start in love, perhaps. Could be tears as well. I mean, the Ace of Cups can definitely be tears. So there is some sort of emotion here. This is about emotions. Ten of Swords reversed. Now, Ten of Swords reversed is liberation. It's freedom. It's freedom from suffering. There's some sort of emotional release or healing. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is typically mourning, mourning a loss, um, regrets, tears. So I'm wondering something. You know, I wonder if it, we got the Wheel of Fortune in reversed on the bottom. So we know that this is a loss. This is a setback. It's bad news. So it could be tears. Five of Cups is grieving. It is grieving over a loss. It's, it's focusing on something, the spilled, crying over the spilled milk, crying over a loss. So there's, there's some sort of emotional setback here. But the Ten of Swords reverse is liberation. It is freedom. It's freedom from suffering. So there, there's, there, could, there could be some tears that are being shed as, you know, somebody receives some sort of news or information that hurts okay it hurts um this is bad luck it's bad timing it is not a, it's it's a setback it's a delay it's repeating negative patterns that lead to a horrendous loss it's not meant to be you know so, something isn't meant to be so there, there there's some sort of I mean, the Ten of Swords reverse. This could be the worst has happened. You know, there's this is a chron there could be chronic health problems here with the Ten of Swords reversed. We 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 there's something going on here. There's some sort of emotional setback. Um, but the Ace of Cups is a new start. Okay, it it does everything happens for a reason. I know somebody said that 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 that's not true. That is true. It is true. You may, if you don't know that it does, then you are you haven't fully awakened yet. Five of Cups is grieving over a loss. It is mourning. It's crying. It's tears. It's sadness. With the Ten of Swords suffering. Uh, what is this? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed is insecure, not not happy, not not wanting to be alone, not uh, there's a lack of worth, a lack of self sufficiency. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value, that doesn't know their worth, that uh, doesn't want to be alone, that is needing is in some sort of pain we have somebody here that is that needs to take action they need to find their discipline they need to find their discipline to take action to take care of themselves but they're not they're not they need to break free from some sort of suffering but they can't find their 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 strength okay the nine of pentacles reverse we have somebody here that needs to realize that you know they may need to realize that they're that they that they need to take action that they need to find their strength they need they're better off alone 
Just being honest. The Ace of Cups can be self-love. There is some, there's another opportunity here that is being ignored or it's being missed or it's not being seen or it's not being realized with the Five of Cups. But I feel like we have somebody here that is, you know, they may think that the, another person completes them with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, but nobody completes you but you. Just so you know. Your soul is whole. Didn't split apart. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that is that is need, is in a place where they are they are struggling. They are seven of wands reversed. They are struggling. They are. Um, this is a fall from grace. It is. It's a fall from grace. They need to admit defeat. They're having a hard time admitting defeat. Um, there could be somebody here that is fighting. They're fighting with themselves about the truth. They're suffering. They're in. They're holding on to something that is over that has caused them a lot of suffering. You know, their in, their intuition is probably telling them that you know this is it. This is the only one I'll ever love. grieving we have somebody here that is grieving they don't know their value they don't know their worth they need to focus on the future and not the past we have somebody here that keeps on focusing on the past but there is there is tears here there's tears because They're suffering. They're suffering. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value. They, they, they are focusing on a loss when they should be just focusing on themselves. They need to focus on themselves and, and not focus on, on the loss. You know, everything happens for a reason. Six of Swords and Three of Wands reversed. So Three of Wands reversed is lack of foresight. Okay, it's uh, wasted time. It's time to move on. It is time to move on. Stop wasting time waiting for something to arrive that is never coming. It is time to go. It's time to move on. It's time to go to a better place. I think that we have somebody here that is receiving some intuitive nudges or they're receiving some information that is telling them to focus on the future, to go, to move to a better place, but they've been, they've been um, wasting time crying over a loss. But I do feel like in the future we do have somebody that is moving, they're moving, they're moving to a better place with that Six of Swords, they're moving on, they're, they're going someplace, they're traveling, traveling to a new destination. The worst, this is the worst, it's the worst news or it's the worst thing that has happened. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody, somebody is breaking free. And breaking free is hard to do, especially when there was love. There was love. But we have somebody here that has been drowning in their emotions and they have been allowing themselves to be uh, betrayed. They, and they have been betrayed. They have been extremely betrayed. But they allowed it because they didn't know their value. They didn't know their worth. They didn't want to be alone. They, they thought that this other person completed them, you know. Wasted time. There's a lot of wasted time with the Three of Wands reversed. Unforeseen departure. There could be an unforeseen departure here as well with the Three of Wands reversed next to the Six of Swords for some of you. That could be a completely different story. There could be a, a, a sudden loss of some sort. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is, is um, 
Well, somebody has been delayed. They have been stuck. They have been refusing to accept an ending because tens are endings. This chapter has probably ended. It's been trying to end, but we have somebody here that has been too in their emotions. They haven't, they haven't been seeing clearly. They've been drowning in their emotions, allowing themselves to be betrayed over and over and over again. You know, and focusing on the emotional discontent when there's another option that has been ignored or not even looked at or not even looked for because of the emotional um, commitment to it. Um, but we have somebody here that needs to find their mental strength to focus on themselves and their self-worth and stop waiting for something to come that's only going to cause you more trouble. So this is leaving the trouble behind, the Six of Swords. Somebody is, is going to a better place. They are, and it's it's unforeseen. It's, it's unpredictable, unprepared, unprepared. So, uh, somebody is unprepared for a departure. They are unprepared. They were unprepared for the truth, perhaps. Anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is an unpredictable loss. Okay, it is. It's not meant to be. The cycle is over, and this is resisted change. Somebody's been resisting change. It's like the wheel has been trying to spin somebody in a new direction. But there's such a lack of self-sufficiency and self-worth, and there's, there's too much emotion. Somebody hasn't been able to master their emotions. So I do think there's some tears, there's some tears and sadness over a loss on this day. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. So yeah, there's betrayal here. There is some definite betrayal. There's anxiety, there's depression, there's, there's worry, there's, there's regrets. Regret, regrets. We have for the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, the, the mirroring each other, there's regrets, serious regrets. Somebody has wasted a lot of time um, deceiving themselves. We get the Seven of Swords next to the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles about self. Seven of Swords is deception. Somebody here that is watching this has been deceiving themselves hurting themselves over and over and over again. Ten of Swords up there, right above the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, the ultimate betrayal, you know. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to move on. There's some sort of deception here. Maybe it's cheating. We could have a third party situation with the Five of Cups. You know, there's there's a lot of sadness over, you know, a third party or another per with the Three of Wands right there too. There's a lot of sadness and despair. It's time to move on. If when there's betrayal, move on. Just move on, you know. Somebody is has been deceiving themselves. They are having a hard time right now, a extremely hard time accepting the truth. Uh, Nine of Swords. This is this is uh, really really suffering in their mind. Really thinking a lot. A lot of swords here. We have the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So this is a lot of thoughts. You know, somebody is really you know grieving over a loss that they need to move on from there's another opportunity here we have the two of cups behind in that five of cups it's being missed and we have this page of wands here this is a new suitor it's a new exciting opportunity this is taking a new a new direction going in a new direction uh going on a new adventure uh there probably there could be an offer or an invite here from somebody new that could you know, be exciting, take the opportunity. Anyhow, Six of Swords is moving to a better place, giving deep thought to a relationship with the Nine of Swords, really struggling, really struggling. Somebody is really struggling with self-deception. They are wasting time when it's time to move on. Stop crying over the spilled milk. 
pick yourself up off the ground, love yourself enough to focus on the future and not the past. Stop wasting time. There's regrets. You're going to have regrets. I mean, there's regrets here. A lot of regrets. A lot of sadness. Page of Wands could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here quite a bit. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have everybody. It doesn't really matter. But we have somebody here that... Uh, has been taken advantage of. They have low self-confidence, low self-esteem, low self-worth. They have allowed themselves to be stepped on and betrayed and, and put down and cheated on or whatever, stolen from. Somebody has really allowed themselves to be deceived and it, it starts with self-deception. But there is a new start in love here. There's a new opportunity right here. There is. With the Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups, there's a new opportunity right here. But it will require somebody to leave the troubled situation behind with the Six of Swords. So we do have somebody here that is really thinking about going to a better place. They are thinking about moving on, but they are too much in their emotions. They are. They are. They're not mastering their emotions at all. There's a need to take action right now. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. Take action. Know your value. Know your worth. It's time. It's time to put some plans in action. It's time to, to find, a, find another way. Find a new approach. Take a new approach. There's been a lot of thinking about it. You know what you need to do. I can see that you do. Take a new approach. Do it. There's another opportunity right here for love. There is. With the Five of Cups, with the Two of Cups behind, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands, there's an opportunity with somebody that is very well suited. Okay, this is a good suitor. card reverse this is flogging a dead horse it is this is the end of a journey but like the wheel of fortune resisting change the the world card reversed is an ending that has probably already happened it's needed to happen you know it needed it happened it's time to let it go this the world reversed is uh It's time to accept. It's time to cut your losses. It's over. It's over. It's over. This is the end. It is. It's the end. But we have somebody here that is staying in the present. They're resisting change. They are definitely resisting change. There's laziness here as well. With the world card in the... In the page of pentacles, that's laziness. That, that, that This is a dead end, okay? There's, there, there's a need to start over. There's a need to embark on a new journey. There's a need to go through a new doorway. But we have laziness here. We have somebody here that doesn't want to put in the effort to start over. We have a chapter that is definitely over. And we have somebody here that is totally drowning in their emotions. They're letting... They're, they're not being logical. They're not being smart. They don't know their value. They don't know their worth. They're cheating themselves. They're, they're deceiving themselves. They want to leave, but they're staying for, or they're holding on to something that is over. It's definitely over. It's completely over. It's done. There's no victory. There's no success. And there's an opportunity for love here that is being ignored or it's being missed because 
we have self-deception. This is all about this crying, crying over the spilled milk when it's time to move on. The future does look like it's moving on because the Six of Swords is at the very, it's in the future position. Stop wasting time. Move on. It's time to go. It's time to go to a better place. It's time to move on. You've thought about it long enough. Stop flogging that dead horse. definitely unstable insecure we have somebody here that may be holding on for money nine of pentacles they don't have the funds that's an excuse it is an excuse it is i had three little kids no money no nothing and i was able to find a way Nine of Swords, suffering, anguish, despair. Somebody is definitely traveling. There could be also some regrets. There is regrets here. Somebody has regrets. They have regrets for wasting time and they are going to be going somewhere. They're going to be going someplace. They may be crying over a loss and, and they're, they're heading in that direction. Somebody may have uh, really betrayed another person. They didn't see their value. They didn't know their value. They didn't know the other person's value. They betrayed them. They're, but there's a lack of apology here. This is no apology. It's, it's a lack of integrity. We have somebody here that lacks integrity that doesn't have the skills or the desire to put in effort. This is somebody that is lazy. This is somebody that does not want to put in the effort to uh, be successful, you know, or they're just laziness. This is somebody that is lazy, that is just, you know what, it's easy, it's easy. I'm taking the easy road. Just, you know, I mean, it's just, this is safe, right? There could also be a sudden departure here. Did I always say that? I think I did. I think there is. There could be a sudden. Somebody could be suddenly leaving, which causes a lot of emotions. Somebody could also be following their heart in a new direction with that Ace of Cups. They have been resisting change. They've been delaying the inevitable. They have, a, they have another option here that is better suited for them. They may be traveling towards that better option. Anyhow, I do think that there is some sort of um, there's either unprepared there's unprepared information that is coming. You are unprepared. You're either unprepared for an arrival or unprepared for a departure. Three of Wands reversed is unprepared. There's some sort of stress here. Somebody is very, very stressed out. But, but they're stressed out because they're unwilling to... Uh, do what's best for them. You know, take care of yourself. Put yourself first. There's a lack of self-love here. But the Ten of Swords is liberation. It is freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom from suffering. And I feel like there is some action that is going to be taken with that Six of Swords that is traveling in a new direction, going someplace, going someplace where there's 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 serenity, you know, where this is leaving the uh, bullshit behind. So somebody is going to be leaving and behind the Six of Swords, the Nine of Swords, so leaving the stress behind, leaving the deception behind, leaving the... Um, well, the emotional discontent behind. I feel like we also have somebody here that is a cheater. You know, there's there's cheating here. Let's get one more card. There could also be some unfinished business here that is being dealt with. 
with the world card reverse. There could be somebody that is unfortunately coming back around. And I say unfortunately because the wheel of fortune was reversed and that's unfortunately. Maybe there's some business that needs to be cleared up and maybe that's what hurts. That's what hurts. Maybe there's something that is popping up that needs to be dealt with. But there is love here, so it's interesting. Ooh, there is love here. Yeah, amazing, huh? Unexpected choice in love. So there is some sort of love here. Unexpected choice in love. And it's totally unprepared. Somebody is unprepared for, for uh, an offer. Okay, they are. We have two people that are being brought together that are meant to be together, but it but it's after some sort of loss. It is with the, with the, with the uh, five of cups. Now this lovers card is we have two people that are totally in love with each other. This is on the same page. This is this is coming together and you know falling in love. They're meant to be. This is the end of some of loneliness. Maybe I put that right over the nine of pentacles. We have somebody here that has been wasting time, maybe on a, on a third party situation or wasting time uh, thinking about uh, connecting with somebody new. There's some sort of wasted time here. There's going to be two people that are coming together that are meant to be together. They're meant to work together. They are meant to, they're, they're, this is a partnership that is meant to be. This is a realignment. There's a change. There's a profit and a loss with this card. This is a realignment. This is a geometric power that is realigning somebody. There's been some sort of self-deception. Somebody may have been fearful or extremely stressed out or holding on to a situation for financial reasons but there is some sort of emotional pull towards a person that they are very uh, magnetically drawn to Anyhow, it's time to take a new approach. We have somebody here that has been watching. They have been behind the scenes. They are about to uh, I don't know if they've been watching. What have they been doing? They have been sneaky. There's some sort of sneakiness here. Some, this, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to connect. They are unprepared for a connection. Sudden. All of a sudden. Unexpected choice in love getting together with somebody and connecting on a very deep level after there's been a lot of wasted time. And that's what I got, good luck.